What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. Beautiful One Piece episode 1095. Whew, I'm loving this shit, man. Yo, new arc is officially, we're getting into the mix of it, man. It's still so early, but it's just, oh, dude, it's exciting me more and more and more the more we get into it and reminding me of what's to come from what I've seen and read in the manga. I mean, yo, we are in for a treat, bro. Like, I keep on saying this. Y'all might be sick of it at this point, but it's the truth, dude. Like, we've got so much good shit on the way, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, and I'm just loving little moments that we're getting leading up to some of the big moments that are going to happen later and just seeing the full production of it on the screen, like the animation, you know, seeing all the colors, seeing it in motion, the soundtracks behind all of these intense moments or, you know, bittersweet, sad moments, happy moments. I mean, the, the, a lot of these episodes have been comedy so far, just seeing the crew interact with each other, Bonnie re, uh, interacting with Luffy and them, you know, Chopper and Jim Bay. Uh, I mean, it's just been such, it's just been so much fucking fun. It's, this is what One Piece is all about. It's just having fun, the, the comedic aspect to it, uh, but also how much it moves you and how layered and good the story is. I mean, there's so much happening at once. And I feel like Oda, ever since he made that announcement where he was talking about like, okay, 25 years into it, preparation's done. Like what, preparation? What the fuck are you on about? You've had 25 years of the number one manga and that was preparation? Like, all right, bro, you got it. I believe him though. Ever since he said that, from what I've gathered, you know, reading the manga and where we're up to now in it, and then now also starting to see the animation come out for what has started after Wano. Dude, I, 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 said, it, I said it last reaction, but I feel like this is the best he's ever done because he's done this before, he likes to do this a lot, where you jump around from place to place. It's not always just one full fight, you know, sometimes maybe the climax of the fight is just like one whole episode. But, you know, one episode will be here, one episode will be there. Like you catch up with what's going on with everybody pretty much in a certain event. In Wano, same thing. We were at Onigashima the whole time, but we were jumping around to seeing what Jinbei was going on with him. What's going on with Frankie? Okay, now we jump, jump over here to Chopper. Hey, what's going on in that room with Queen and some of the other people? Oh, you Boone that was in that room. And then we jump back up to the roof with Luffy, Zoro, King, our kid, and all them. And, and, then, and then you jump over back over to Robin and Brooke. You know what I'm saying? Like, you jump back and forth and it keeps you locked because of how much is happening at once. And that's just one event. That was just Onigashima. So now that we're at the start of this new arc, we, like I said, we've barely touched the tip of the iceberg, bro. The amount that's happening at once as we get through this and keep going forward is just absolutely insane. It just, it almost makes it so you can't have a second to, to think, really, is how I think about it. Or maybe, maybe that's just how it feels in the manga, but I feel like you're going to feel that too as you watch this through and we get further into these episodes because... As you get, like, as I said already, what's happening right now, we have Egghead, we have Luffy, Bonnie, Jinbei, Chopper. Okay, that's one group. Then we have Egghead as well, Zoro on them. They just got to the actual lab, uh, labo phase, whatever, above the actual island. Then we have Law and Blackbeard going the fuck at it. And then we have the revolutionaries and Sabo and what he was trying to relay to them. And we didn't even get the full information because he got cut off because of that huge fucking insane shit that happened at Luisha. So, that's just what's ha that's just the start that, like i don't it's, it's it's insane to think about like how much is actually happening at once in the world of one piece and i i feel like oda has executed it the best that he ever has within this arc and it's the arc is still going strong you know what i'm saying at least in the manga you like this the arc's not over or anything you know what i'm saying like it's just bro it's so fucking good Seeing it on the screen, the animation, the visuals, the colors, everything is beautiful. And like I said, the soundtrack, everything, like it's full product. Whenever it's animated, I, I, I can't do anything else but just be thankful. I'm just so thankful that this story exists. It's so fucking good. So within last episode, we got pretty much just to you know, jump back to Egghead, seeing Luffy 
and Jim Bay and Chopper react to Bonnie, uh, you know, changing their age and somehow getting them out of that situation and then talking to her more about her father and how she really feels about the situation and how traumatized she is from it and how it's not fair. It's not. And then we also catch up with Zoro and them, finally the rest of the crew, Luffy's crew, and they get brought to the Labo phase by Lilith. And then they, you know, get their new clothes, their new fits. They look fucking amazing. Nice futuristic fits. They all look dope as fuck. They start walking through the lab. They're experiencing things they've never experienced before because this is obviously a place that's apparently 500 years in the future. You know what I'm saying? Said to be. This is just the advanced technology, thanks to Vegapunk. And then they're directed by Edison to this room where they see a Jimbei lookalike. Look -like. And they're like, what the fuck? What's, what's, what's Jimbei doing here? That looks like Jimbei, but it's not fucking Jimbei. It looks like younger Jimbei. And he has wings. Black wings. White hair. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they're a little confused. And I can't really remember myself why Edison is showing them this. But I feel like it's to maybe test them. Or maybe they're just trying to show off their technology and what they're capable of. I don't know. But uh, this is the first time that the crew is, besides Luffy and them, you know, Luffy and Jinbei, who are separated from the rest of the crew, this is the first time they're seeing a Seraphim. And these pacifists are fucking insane. Like I've been saying, you know, rec replicated, cloned after the Shichibukai in their prime or like childlike, and then also combined with Lunarians. Don't step up. That's all I'm saying. If you a regular schmuck in this universe, don't step up. Just don't step up. If you don't got conquerors, if you don't have a, some crazy devil fruit, if you don't have this, if you don't have that, don't step up. You are going to get smacked. I'm just saying. So that's where we're at. I'm very excited to get into this. Let's get into the reaction. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you see the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. One Piece 1095. Yeah, we'll recap of who they just met. The flames on the back? <laughs> oh, nah, bro. The brain of a genius. Six Vegapunks. Holy shit. That attack actually landed. God damn, who's so how many times are you gonna bounce? Oh shit. Not as welcoming welcoming as they first thought? That's not Jinbei, sweetie, I'm sorry. Oh shit, the vein through the forehead? <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Yo, the animations look crazy for this. Death penalty it is. Yo, Sanji ain't playing when it comes to Nami Aropi, bro. You better back the fuck up, Seraphim. Ooh, little impact frame right there. The fuck back in your room. Yeah. I don't know if it's Edison himself or is it if it's all the Vegapunks want to know what they're truly capable of. I feel like they're just testing them right now. See what they're capable of. See if they can hold their own. Provide them even more data to go off of the research. See? Opportunities like this are rare. This is good data. The Seraphim will get even strong. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to, I'm starting to fucking realize what's happening here. Or starting to remember. As good as a trial or test as you can get to test your technology against somebody that a crew that is taking this seriously like oh shit they actually want to kill us they just invite us for no reason they're thinking they're actually getting they're getting they, they were trapped and tricked by the government right now 
All right, Usopp, come on. Mm. Where you at, though? He ain't there no more. <laughs> his eyes about went as long as his nose right there. Mm, they might recognize that. Sanji studied at one of Vegapunk's labs. That was his training for his two-year arc. Who is he? Thinker. Edison. Yeah, he told Osoap to not move, but that blast was insane. <laughs> Y'all the ones that wanted to test this. <laughs> I mean, she is evil, right? Mm -hmm, like I said, bro, they're, they're getting valuable data. Pythagoras, wisdom. Damn, halfway point pretty early. All right, all right, all right. What are we getting for the rest of the episode? What are we getting? Are you going to finally let them in on, okay, this was a test. We're just testing you. Lilith was getting real fucking passionate there for a second. Hey, I'm a, you, you know how much one of these fucking things cost, bro? It's like, yo, you, you're the one that wanted to test this shit. Don't fucking come at me for defending myself. Holy shit, the animation. Oh my goodness. Bro, the animation looks so good. It's It almost gives me like a nostalgic vibe to old animation, but it looks amazing. Like it looks way better than old animation. But some of the movements and stuff, like how Sanji just got fucking f deflected right there or thrown. I don't know, it just gives me the combination vibe of nostalgia and insane animation. Like a combination of new and old. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> this is a very eventful, fun, chaotic environment on Egghead. Greed. York. This is the last one that we need to meet, I think. Shaka, Lilith, Edison, Pythagoras. York. We're missing one. We haven't met one, I don't think. Oh no, Atlas. I forgot Atlas. Okay, we, that's all of them. We've met all of them now, officially. Yo, this animation is crazy. Eat, eat, eat for all of us. Just grubbing for all six of them. What a platter. Donuts, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken, everything. Our current BMI is over 600. Yeah, after the, all that York just ate, that was an... <laughs> Is this York going to the bathroom?
Holy shit, dude. This is so chaotic. Day in the life of Vegapunk. Back to sleep. Just got up to eat for everybody, take a shit, take a piss for everybody. Alright, we're good. Alright, finally, they're gonna be clued in. Okay, this was the test. <laughs> you don't think you control their boots? <laughs> okay. Please move. <laughs> He's got another idea. After just stopping that in immense data pool. <laughs> Maybe I'm big a bug too. If so if anybody, it's not fucking you, bro. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. He just stopped himself. Hmm. Maybe I'm him too. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! What do they see? Vegajan! Even I can't surpass? This island is from the past. <laughs> Fucking Luffy, bro. Wow, man. This is what I'm talking about, bro. We're so early, but these little reveals slowly but sh Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, no! Yo, this is so exciting, man. <laughs> Chopper. Oh man, oh my god, that was such a good ending to the episode. Holy shit, bro. Wow. Ah, oh, dude, this is so exciting. This is so fucking exciting, bro. So good. Alrighty, guys, what another spectacular episode of One Piece. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. This is what I'm talking about, bro. There's this... We're still so early into the arc, but these little reveals slowly but surely... We, we've pretty much seen all of the Vegapunks by this episode. We've finally seen all of them. And... Yeah, there's fucking six of them, bro. <laughs> and they literally work 24 fucking 7, and some of them just split up certain activities. Whereas we saw this episode, we get right back where we left off, pretty much, with... Uh, Frankie... Usopp, Sanji, Nami, Robin in this room with the Seraphim that looks exactly like Jinbei and having to deal with it and fight it and they're thinking like the worst of the worst like this is insane I, there's no way that this would have happened you know we were too we were too trusting you know I, I knew that I knew this was sketchy you know coming to a government island they're trying to kill us all at once you know this was a trap so they're thinking you know the worst of the worst that this is truly a fucking trap and that this is the end of the end and so they're going through it they're fighting this fucking jimbei seraphim seeing what it's capable of as well as us for the first time to the audience like it's able to swim 
no problem uh, in the ground, through surfaces, whatever. So that seems to be a power of its own. Not only that, it has its Lunarian properties, the black wings, flames, white hair, and then also, of course, pacifista capabilities, laser beams, all that sort of stuff. So it's a very formidable opponent and all the attacks that they hit it with as they were, you know, fighting the thing didn't really give it a scratch at all. And they're realizing this and they're like, yo, this is crazy. There's, that's impossible. Like, how can this be? So they're taking this very seriously. Whereas the rest of the Vegapunks besides Shaka, they're doing this on purpose because they wanted to collect data. This is valuable battle da data that they can rarely come across. So they wanted to let this go on for as long as possible and get as much data as possible, which they were loving. They were loving it. Pythagoras, Edison, Edison was coming up with an invention on the spot. He was like, yo, give me these materials. Oh my God, I'm hungry, but I can't stop. Yo, York, we finally see York. This is the last Vegapunk uh, that we um, have yet to meet, which we can meet this episode. And as well as we already met Lilith first, we saw Shaka after that, and then we met Atlas. And then the last three we met pretty much all within this episode. Like we heard of them, we heard of the rest of their names, we heard of Edison, Pythagoras, and York beforehand, especially according to the information of CP0, like Luchi and them apparently approaching this island. We learned that there were six of them beforehand, but actually meeting them ourselves through the perspective of the crew, we finally have met every single one this episode, including Edison, Pythagoras, and York. We got all three of them at once, like actually seeing them in action and seeing them what they look like. Edison, Pythagoras, and York. And York pretty much being the one that just took care of eating for them, which gave them nutrition, and then she ate like a fucking shit ton, an absolute slob. And so they immediately had to go to the bathroom, like, oh my god, I need to go to the bathroom, but I don't want to stop. So she goes to the bathroom, boom, they're all good energy back i feel so much better let's go <laughs> so that's pretty much the gist of what was going on this episode is that they continued to fight the seraphim you know sanji and them and uh the rest of the vegapunks getting valuable data that they you know love and lilith also because of just like her personality or whatever persona being evil she's like no we don't need to stop we can just kill him right here <laughs> you know what i'm saying she's fucking od she's insane um, and Edison's reacting like, you're so, you're so crazy. You're so evil. Like, you know, yeah, obviously. So they were enjoying getting their data and, you know, Sanji and them are kind of freaking out at first. Like, this is crazy. I knew this was too good to be true. And then Shaka finally starts walking up and they're like, all right, yo, I think you've gotten enough data. Chill the fuck out. I need to talk to them. And so that's when Shaka comes in, tells the Seraphim to retreat. And this is where they're about to have a conversation or whatever. And, you know, he starts off the conversation with, you think that, do you think this you know island is in the future and frankie's like of course the technology here is amazing the vega force one the sea beasts the uh you know everything else the city looks amazing like this is truly an island of the future and he's like you know i know you're not i know you're not our enemies please be friends with me vega <laughs> like because he trained and you know had his training arc at one of his previous labs and that's where he gained even more info for himself and all that stuff and how to increase his cyborg capabilities or update himself upgrade himself as a cyborg uh or learn other inventions too to help the ship since he's the shipwright all kinds of stuff right so he looks up to vegapunk probably the most out of the rest of the crew so he starts off that conversation like that shaka and then he's like well, what if i told you that this island is from the past He's like, what if I told you there was a kingdom just like Egghead, even more advanced or just as advanced 900 years ago? And Frankie's like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? 900 years ago? That's almost a millennia ago. What the fuck are you talking about? And as he's saying this, we're seeing Luffy, Jinbei, Bonnie, and Chopper come across this giant robot that seems to be, as Jinbei put it, you know, this is a future island. Like, why does it look so old? I mean, it's rusted. Did it work at one time before? It has moss all over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks like a relic. Just going off of the looks of it and how rusted and how much moss is on it. Like, it looks old. This is a future island. Why does it look so old? It's interesting that Shaka started talking about and hinting at that this, you know, what if, what if this is an island of the past? And then we start seeing that giant robot. And Luffy and them reacted to it like, yo, this is crazy. This this thing looks insane. Like, it's not a hologram. Like, this is real. This is a giant robot. And then that's where pretty much the episode ends. Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. These little reveals slowly but surely. The conversation slowly but surely. The information slowly but surely. The backstory, the, the events, the fights. 
This arc is already hyping up to be one of the greats alongside Wano and so many others. It's, uh, dude, it's so good. I can't complain. That was an amazing episode. It's, it, every week is just hyping up for more and more and more and getting closer and closer to some of the amazing stuff that we're going to see. And uh, it's been a minute, uh, two episodes now that we've been back to what's going on with Law and Blackbeard. So maybe since we've had two episodes of Egghead, we get back to some other stuff next episode, either being Law and Blackbeard's fight or maybe catching up with the Revolutionary Army again. Who knows? Or we continue down getting info and uh, a little bit of storytelling from Shaka himself, Vegapunk 1, and see where we go from there. So another amazing episode. I absolutely love this stuff, man. I, I, I live for this shit. One Piece is so fucking good. So that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for the reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit that notification bell so you the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.